Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to um, attempt to show you some of the cool stuff that Google Docs can do. So um, there's a lot of tips and tricks to, to share with you. So what we're going to do is start by going to your Google page and just making sure that you're signed in at the top right hand corner. And then from there, um, there's two ways to go into Google Docs. Um, the first way is just by clicking on that rubrics cube and then um, going down to where it says Docs um, down here. So just click on that. And then what it does is brings you um, some options, some different templates, uh, so that you don't have to start from scratch. Uh, it's got some really cool things for use in the classroom, such as essays and book reports, um, different types of letters, from informal letters to business letters, and um, all sorts of stuff. So basically you can just, uh, let's say you're doing a book report, you can just click on that. And it's opened up a template for you and then from there you can just go in and um, edit the text and it gives you a nice um, layout for you which is quite cool so that's one way to go into google docs i'll just close that off uh, the second way is by clicking on that rubrics cube and going into your drive so we'll do it this way as well And uh, just before we open a doc, it's always a good idea just to open the doc inside the folder of the subject you're working. So let's say that you're doing inquiry and your teacher wants to um, you to do something in Google Docs. So you need to kind of open your inquiry folder and from there um, click on new and then open new Google Doc. And the reason for that is that it'll automatically be in the correct folder so you don't have to file it later. So it's a, it's a good little habit to get into. Another good habit is just always naming your doc. So up here we're going to call this uh, tips and tricks for Google Docs. So we've now named the document and Google Docs is really cool because it saves everything every two seconds. So you never really lose your work. So that's an awesome bonus. Uh, first thing I'm going to show you guys is just how to change the color of your page, which is really easy. So just Go up to File, scroll down to Page Setup, and here in this window you can click on the page color, and of course you've got a whole massive um, choice that you can make, so you can choose any color you like, and today we're going to make it orange. Over here we can uh, make the margins smaller so that we can fit more on the page. So just make it the same. In all windows, it's Control V for paste, so it's all the same. And I can make it landscape, or I can make it portrait. Okay, so it's turned the whole page orange. Um, fonts, we can use obviously the standard fonts that are in Google Docs, or we can uh, click down to where it says More Fonts, and we can load up a, a different font. So we can just scroll down until we find one that we like. Let's say we're going to go with um, this one here, Able, and click OK. Um, we can make it larger, and we can change the color as well. So we're going to write in gray, OK? Next little thing that is handy to know is just how to highlight a word or a piece of text. So to do that, just highlight the word and go up to the font color. And at this time, click on highlight and you've got your different colors. So let's highlight it in blue and then it just highlights that piece of text in blue. So that's quite a um, handy little thing to do as well. Another really cool feature of Google Docs is uh, speech to type. So if you go up to tools and scroll down to voice typing, Gives you a little microphone here and it says click to speak. So let's test this out. How to set up a Google Doc. And look at that. So that's quite cool. You can actually just speak to the document and it will type for you. So that's a cool little feature of Google Docs. Word counts. Um, 
if you want to know how many words you've written, say you've got to write a 500 word story, um, you can easily do that just by going up to tools, highlight the text, go up to tools, and down to word count. And here it will tell me I've written 11 words and 49 characters. So that's how to do a word count. Inserting tables in Google Docs is really easy. So you can just go to up to table, insert table, and here you get to choose how many rows and columns you want. So let's do a three by three, and it's inserted the table. You can make it look pretty. You can fill the table with color. You can make it transparent. You can fill it with color. Uh, you can change the grid lines. Just clicking on more. And let's make the lines red. And we can change them to a dash. Or we can make them nice and thick. So you can do lots of cool stuff with tables. Which is quite cool. Uh, another thing you can do in Google Docs is insert links. So we'll just do that. Uh, we'll just open up YouTube for a second. Find a video. So let's say that we wanted to put in this little video here. We're just going to Command-C or Control-Copy. And in our Google Docs, we're going to go Insert, Link. And we're going to Control or Command-V for Paste, the link in there. And in here, you can tell us what the link is about. So Link to you. YouTube video, apply, okay, oh, I need to fix that up, that's obviously spelled wrong, um, can do that, but just to move on, um, inserting images is really easy, so again just go up to insert, and this time we'll click on image, and you've got a lot of different options here for images that you um, can put into your doc, you can choose an image that you've saved onto your computer, you can take a snapshot. So you can use your device's camera just to record uh, any sort of um, image, a selfie, a picture of you. You could focus it on a piece of work. Um, so you can put in images like that. We can put in images of URLs. I'm just going to close that off. Come on. Okay, we'll try that again. Insert image. Uh, we can do it by URL, so we could copy and paste a, a URL to a website. Uh, we can find images on our computer through our albums. We can find images that we've saved in our Google Drive. Um, recent images shared with me. We can go back. Or the most likely feature is you're going to actually look for an image. So click on search, and from here um, we can search anything in Google and look for an, an image that we want to use okay so let's just chuck in this guy here and there we go so let's put the image in and we can make it we can make it smaller as well so you can do stuff with your image another quite a cool feature in Google Docs is inserting a drawing so not many people know about this one. So insert drawing. So this is good for flow charts and um, any time that you've got a maths, any time you've got to do a bit of drawing. So you can insert arrows, shapes, uh, you could put in speech bubbles, you can put a picture in and put speech bubbles, so you can insert an image into this image, uh, you can put text in here as well, so it's good for doing brainstorms, and then you can just save and close and that will go into your doc. So there we have it, today I've just shown you um, some of the things you can do in Google Docs, including changing your um, fonts, changing your page, putting in tables, putting in images, um, and also just making your Google Doc look
more interesting than your average Google Doc. So there we go. Um, hope you enjoyed the video and got something out of it. Thanks for watching.